Today's speaker is Catherine Maley, MBA of Catherine Maley Consulting. Since 2000, Catherine Maley has been a cosmetic practice growth, business, and marketing consultant. She is also an author, speaker, trainer, blogger, and podcaster. Her book, Your Aesthetic Practice, What Your Patients Are Saying, has been studied by thousands of cosmetic surgeons and medical spas all over the world. Maylie is an international speaker and a regular contributor to the top medical publications. She has been interviewed by the New York Times, ABC News, and Newsweek. Maylie and her team specialize in growing cosmetic revenues using creative client attraction, conversion, follow-up and retention strategies, as well as staff training to turn team members into converting rock stars. And with that, I'll pass it over to Catherine. Thank you so much, and I'm so excited to be here, everyone. So we're going to talk about faster, cheaper, easier ways to cosmetic revenues. And let me just jump right in. So this webinar is for you if you're surrounded by competition and need to stand out to attract more med spa clients. If you're having to discount your services to attract new clients. If you've got too many of your clients that don't book again, so you have to spend more to replace them with new clients. And or if you're tired of the pain and the stress of feast and famine of months of revenues that go up and down, the old roller coaster revenues. So if that's an issue for you, here's what you're going to discover at this presentation. And by the way, the slides get prettier after this. You're going to discover a faster, cheaper, easier way to acquire new clients without discounting your services. And a surefire way to increase your client's value so you have predictable and reliable revenues month after month. And also, a new way to cut your advertising budget while still getting new clients. Because if you take advantage of the strategies I'm going to show you here, here are the kind of monthly results you can expect. 11 new signups, and I'll explain that later, but 40 clients have spent 3,000, 20 clients, clients have spent 5,000, 6 referrals, six re 7 reviews, 4 video testimonials, 8 social shares, for a revenue stream of 52,627. So I wanted to give you a freebie because I really appreciate you showing up at this webinar. I know you have plenty to do and you don't have to be here. So I wanted to thank you for your participation. So I put together a PDF called Social Media Ideas for Med Spas because it takes a ton of content to keep social media alive and engaging. So I, I put this together for you to give you some great ideas on how to help you with creating content, and I'm going to give you the link after um, I present at the end, so please stay tuned for that. And I just got my introduction, so I'll just throw in a couple of, of things. Um, I've been at this since year 2000, so that means it's 21 years, and I got my start as a fractional marketing and business consultant to plastic surgeons in the Bay Area here in San Francisco. I'm actually in Sausalito now, but at the time I was living in San Francisco. And I was working with the doctors, and this was, you know, two decades ago, so it was very different then, and the internet was barely alive. It was very um, remedial, you know? So it was fantastic, though. I got to try out all my marketing strategies because I'm huge. I love marketing, and but I love marketing in a strategic way so you're not pushing people or selling them. Uh, so I got to try out all my strategies. So I have a very big background in marketing and advertising for the cash-paying patient. Um, so then I, um, the internet took off, social media took off, the competition took off, um, med spas just started booming. Um, and so a lot of the surgeons I was working with uh, created their own med spas internally. And I realized, you know, you being a med spa yourself and concentrating on only non-surgical treatments, you could do so much better because you're more focused than a plastic surgery practice. So here we are. Okay, so I also have a special offer because I would love to partner with you if indeed you find this interesting. Um, it would be fun to work together. I'm pretty resourceful and, and helpful. So you're, I'm going to give you a special offer for only AMSPA attendees, uh, web spa member, AMSPA members, so you'll never see this anywhere else. So let's see what happens. Now, when it comes to attracting uh, new med spa clients, I am sure you have tried everything. So you probably have a website. Now, some of you tried to do it yourselves on Wix, and that, God knows how that went. Or some of you just shopped around for in, in, internet marketers, 
um, like people who know how to do websites, and that can be a challenge in itself, just trying to find the right vendor for you who can do what you ask them to do. And oftentimes you finally find one who does what you want, but it takes them months to get the thing done. And you're like dying saying, oh my God, I need my new website. So the anticipation is building because you think the website's going to change your life, right? I've done the same thing in my own business. And then the website goes live and it's like crickets. It's like, well, that, well what happened? Where's where's my ranking? Where's, where is everything? And what happens is they'll say to you, you know, in today's world, you can't just put up a website and they will come. You have to figure out how to get traffic to the website. So now you say, okay, no problem. I'll do some social media. And that can be really fun, but it can also be time consuming. And you're trying to figure out what the audience likes, what they don't like. And then you're trying to figure out, are any of these followers going to actually come in for something? Because they're not going to go cross country for Botox. So you're trying to figure out, is this the holy grail or is it just one little piece of this? So then you say, well, social media is okay, but I need more clients and I need them now. So you say, no problem. I'm going to start advertising. And that's when you start putting ads on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or God knows where. And that's a whole story in itself. You have to get really good at that. And Facebook is so funny about like self-esteem. They never want to hurt someone's self-esteem. So but if you think about it, look at what our industry is all about. It's about appearance and looking your best. So, um, so we're dying to do like before and after photos or I look so much better now that I did this. And so you're always fighting with Facebook about are you going to approve this ad or not? So sometimes you just give up on that because it can get ultra expensive <laughs> to because you're testing and tweaking and deleting and testing again. So then you say, I'll, I'll just go with Groupon or I'll just do some kind of advertising directory. By the way, Groupon just absolutely changed the United States consumer mindset to be price driven. And it wasn't like that before, and it is now. But keep in mind, there's only a certain majority who are only price driven. The majority of cosmetic patients, the, the preferred ones, care a lot more about this than just price. If it were all about price, then we, it would be a race to the bottom and nobody would make any money. Um, there's a lot more to this. Patients want more than just a good price. Um, so we'll talk more about that. And then you, I might have tried membership clubs. And here's what I've learned about membership clubs. They can be so darn confusing. So the, the clients don't even know what they're doing. Like they're not sure what's going on. Or even the vendor programs, they're just points. And they're like points, What I don't know, what am I doing with these? Or you've got it so complicated that the staff has a hard time executing it. And then you have a, a hard time tracking it. So those are the kinds of things that usually happen to get clients. And I'm going to show you just an easier way to do this. So here's the reality. Client attraction has gotten so intensely competitive, expensive, and technical. Most do not understand just how uber competitive it is and how difficult it is to get a complete stranger to notice you, react to you, watch your message, and then actually act, actually come in and, and give you money. That's a very big undertaking. And that's what, what the problem is, is consumers are on the internet and on their phone, they're all over the place, and they're clicking like crazy. And what happens is everyone's got ADD now because it's so easy with all that clickbait, you know, it's so easy to keep clicking onto various things. And then you get lost and you don't remember where you were. And then you wanted one procedure and now they're talking about a different procedure. And now you're thinking, oh, I thought I knew what I wanted. Now I'm not sure. And then on top of that, you have to pick the service provider to give that to you. So there's just an awful lot of overwhelmment when it comes to our industry and trying to choose the, the best provider for us. Uh, so in order to get found on the Internet, there's nothing easy about that. So let's talk about Facebook ads. Um, here are some of the challenges that you have facing you. And I just sat in on a two-hour webinar where they were talking about advertising. And here's what's happening. Challenge number one, Facebook ads are totally out of control. Do you know there are more than 8 million active businesses monthly advertising on Facebook? And another million are added every year. So you're competing not just with med spas, you're competing with advertisers on the whole. And that's why Facebook gets to charge whatever they feel like charging because 
they have the demand and they're the supply. So that's, that's an issue. Um, they can frankly charge whatever they want. And so I saw a stat that said Facebook increases their ad fees 30% every year. And I can vouch for that. We always do Facebook advertising. And just these last three weeks, we noticed our Facebook ads have tripled the fees, but our results have gotten worse. So that makes me very nervous. Now, another challenge is internet privacy issues. And here's a meme that I saw on the internet. I thought it was kind of funny, kind of funny, and kind of not. Facebook now hiring. No need to apply. We already have all your details. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Um, but the future is to not share anymore. And that's because they're all getting fined billions of dollars. Not all. Facebook, Google, and Apple, are they're being fined by sharing data with each other and then with us, the advertisers. What that means to you is you can no longer target your audience like before. And you have to target because otherwise you're just throwing it out there. So you like to target an audience. If you're doing Facebook ads, you want to say, no, I just want, for example, I just want females. I want the certain age. I want the certain um, zip code. I want the uh, certain demographics. And now you're not going to be able to. And that's a big deal because it's going to be more like old school TV advertising where you spend an absolute fortune on ads, you spray and pray all over the internet, and you hope your target market sees that and sees it enough, long enough to actually act on it. And that's going to be a very big deal. So in essence, you're going to be paying a lot more for a lot less results. Um, here's what I would suggest. And, and this, please hear me on this. Please start controlling your own audiences. You don't own anybody who's coming from the internet via Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, uh, any of them. You just don't own it anymore. So, well, you didn't own it before, but you definitely want to own your audience now. So please collect contact information from anybody who reaches out to you in any way, shape, or form. You want that. You want to control that. You want somebody to raise their hand and say, I'm really interested in my appearance and keep that because you can nurture them. Okay. Now the next challenge that's hurting us, all of us is organic social media reach has plummeted. I don't, I'm sure you've noticed that yourself where you used to follow a bunch of people and you're like, wait a second, how, where did they go? I haven't seen them for a while. Well, it turns out they're strangling the reach that you get down to 5.2%. So too many of you have this false sense of security thinking, oh, I don't have to do anything else. I'm doing a ton of social media. I've got 20,000 followers or 50,000. I'm in good shape. No, you're not. Um, you know, if it's only 5% and none of them live near you, that's not helping. You know, So um, please take a look at that. Um, and um, you have to think about that because that's not your whole marketing plan, or if it is, it, I, I sure hope you're going to change that after this talk. Now, this should also interest you. Uh, seven times, it costs seven times more to gain a new customer than it does to keep a current customer. And in your case, it's a client. And um, it, in uh, marketing, they say in today's world, you need 31 points of contact before anyone even gets on your radar or you get on their radar enough repetition so they start seeing you they start seeing your message they start trusting you and then they act i mean 31 points of contact that's a lot um, and it's just going to keep getting worse now i'm not saying don't invest in new clients you must but please don't forget who your bread and butter are and that's the clients you already have who already know like and trust you okay because who would you rather work with all day do you really want this new internet stranger patient, the girl at the top? She doesn't know you. She doesn't trust you. She doesn't believe anything you're saying, or she's just so guarded that she's closed. So she's not fun to work with at all. Or would you rather have the one underneath where she loves you? She's been going to you forever. She would never go anywhere else. She loves your prices, doesn't complain about them. She's a pleasure to work with. I mean, who would you rather work with all day? So um, so please take a look at that because you want to have, um, actually you want to have a nice day, you know? It, business is tough. Life is tough. 
So what you want to do is create your own med spa that's full of happiness and friendliness and, um, and you want to have a great day. Okay, so here's another uh, stat worth mentioning. Uh, a couple months ago, I sat in on uh, an Allergan VP who was in charge of, I guess, growth, business growth. And he gave a great talk on injectables because Allergan is the maker of all the injectables, like Botox and fillers. And they surveyed all of their customers, and they're all over the place. They're, you know, they're surgeons and meds, they're everybody. And this is what they found. More than 50% of new patients that you get don't return. They don't return. They just came once for that first time and then never came back again. And so that's a really big deal. The, the beauty there is there's so much opportunity there because if you were to focus more on that than like, let's say getting more clients, why don't you first focus on the clients you already have? So I really like that because here's what happens. Your perception gets skewed. You'll say to me, Oh no, we, we have our regulars. You know, we have tons of regulars. This is what I've learned. Nobody has come up with more than 100 regulars. Honestly, try it. Try to try to come up with more hundred reg 100 regulars. And what happens is you'll have a database of hundreds or thousands, but you only remember the ones you're thinking of because you see them a lot. So you remember them. You don't remember the ones who disappeared because they're off your radar. So you have forgotten about them. So this is exactly where you want to focus because we call this the low hanging fruit. Now, it is not all doom and gloom. Here's some great news. There's always a way and there's plenty you can do to adapt to the changing times that are happening very quickly in advertising and marketing. So let's hit them now. So here's the good news. Cosmetic consumers have endless needs. And isn't that the truth? Anybody who cares about how they look, uh, it's a big deal. You know, they care today, they care tomorrow. Uh, they, you have a captive audience there, as they say. So here's what happens, especially we females. We will stare at them in the mirror forever and we'll stare at ourselves and there's something we don't like about ourselves, right? So we stare at it for a long time. We finally get sick of it and we finally do something about it. So we go to the med spa and we get lasers done, Botox done, fillers. And what happens next? <laughs> All we do is go back in the mirror and find the next thing we, we're not happy with about ourselves. That's just how we're built. Um, so today it's wrinkles, tomorrow it's brown spots or blotchy skin or crazy skin or sagging body parts or unwanted fat pockets. It just never ends. So that's the good news because you have this incredibly hungry market who wants to look good and feel great. Okay, that's good. Then we get to the next one. Um, I also checked out the Aesthetic Society. They're a, a very big deal in the aesthetic world, and they do this really great annual stats. Uh, PDF. And it, look what happened. Um, of all aesthetic procedures, and it's a $9 billion industry, one third of them are non-surgical. And that grows more every day thanks to social media, um, advancements in technology, social trends. Um, a lot of people, and I've been a patient forever. I've been through every procedure known to man, I think. And you know what? You do that. You do have a tendency to hold off on surgery as long as humanly possible. And that's why the med spas are such a great place to go because they, they can make you feel so much better before you're ready to jump into the big surgical. And some are never going to jump into surgical. So you are in very good shape here for non-surgical treatments. Now, also, there's huge growth potential with the injectables because that same VP at Allergan did this study. And if you look at the United States, that second section, 65 million U.S. consumers would actually consider injectables, but only 4 million have actually been treated. That means only 6% have become injectable consumers. Well, so you have another 94% that are still open, you know? That's huge potential there, and you want to take advantage of that. Now, here's another great stat. Loyal clients spend 67% more than new clients. And isn't that the truth? And you know why? It just makes sense because somebody who knows you very well, they know, like, and trust you, they're much more open to your recommendations. They love buying your packages. They're just more, in, they're into you, you know, so they're more open. I love the word open because you, when you're working with somebody who's closed, 
you can't have a discussion with them. They're not going to hear you. So 67% more buy when they're, you know, current clients. So that's fantastic. And here's something else that's really interesting. When it comes to retention, if you were to retain just 5% more of the clients that you lost, if you were to retain them, you could increase your profits 25 to 95%. And I love that because recurring clients buy more, visit more often, and refer more friends. So their lifetime value to you goes up, but your overhead costs go down because you're not advertising as much because you already have a nice flow going, okay? So here's the point. Retention is the new client attraction strategy. I promise you. <laughs> so to grow your med spa and hang on to your profits, retention is where the resources should be going at this point. Can you imagine what would happen if you retained all the clients you ever had? And I know that's a pie in the sky, but can you imagine retaining even 20% more of them because now you're focusing on it? And that's the secret. When you focus on only new clients, you forget about the very clients who have made you successful today. And they're just, it takes so minimal time and effort to keep a client than try to get a new one. I, I, you probably already know that. So, and what if they just referred like one friend? What if all your clients in your database, what if you had a 2000 database and they all referred just one friend? Can you imagine? You <laughs> double overnight. So here's how we're gonna fix your, uh, fix your revenues and your uh, profits, okay? We're gonna change your mindset, change the media, change the market, and change the message. And I'm gonna go through each one of those. So when I say change the mindset, I am talking about shifting your mindset from a one-time transactional client to a lifetime relational client. Do you hear the difference there? When you shift, your opportunities open up, your perceptions open up, and you realize, ah, I get it. We're too focused on the money. I'd rather you look at your clients and love them. So look at them with hearts <laughs> because you would rather help them get the feelings that they're looking for. Relationally, we're all looking to feel good. Do you know why we do cosmetic rejuvenation? Because we want to be happy. We think today if we look better, we're going to be happier about ourselves and about life. Tomorrow it might be a car or a vacation or something, but right now, we want to look good, to feel good, and feel happy, okay? So the more you help that patient feel that way in a comfortable, fun, friendly way, that's the relationship you're building. Because think of the, the heart patients. They're a consumer who has a credit card, and they have all the choice in the world. Who are they going to choose? The med spa that makes them feel comfortable and Comfortable is a really important word. They want to feel comfortable and they and they want to know what to expect. So please treat your clients with love because they're the ones who are going to grow you, your, your success for you. So here's the question. Do you want a client one time or for a lifetime? Way too many businesses treat this as a one-time uh, one time incident. And you can't grow it that way. It's the lifetime. What you're trying to do is turn these this patient into a loyal, raving fan who comes back again and again and again, who brings her friends over and over and over, who um, raves about you, who brags about you. That's how you grow this. That's how you hang on to your profits. It is exhausting to do this one time, one hit wonder thing. It's isn't it? I mean, I mean, you can just tell me in the in the chat. You. That's not fun. It's not fun and it's not profitable. So please start shifting that mindset to lifetime, okay? So if you would please, please spend more time making your patients feel good. And what that means is they want to feel appreciated and acknowledged. They want to feel special and they want to feel loved. So you want to turn them into loyal fans who love you, love themselves, you want to make sure they're smiling, you know, like they're, they're smiling when they enter, they're smiling when they leave. You want to make sure you're doing things like 
um, acknowledging them the minute they walk in the door. How many times, um, and I do this all the time when I go to businesses, how many times have you walked in and nobody's acknowledged you? It can be something that simple because you ignore a cosmetic patient with a credit card, <laughs> they don't have to go there. They can go 14 other places. So please, it's the details that make such a big difference. So welcome them when they enter. Ask them, how are things going? You know, eye contact, direct eye contact. Really show that you care about them as a patient or a, or a person, not as just a transactional client, okay? And then give them a great experience and they'll take good care of you. Now we want to change the market. And I've already alluded to this, but if you're going to play that burn and churn game where it's to you, it's just a matter of numbers and it's a volume game, you're going to wear out. Um, you're also going to run out of money and time and staff because that's where staff turnover happens when, when no one's got a, like a good thing going. You want a nice running machine here. And that's what I'm going to show you. But you can either try this internet game and just throw a ton of money and time and effort into it, trying to get that stranger to choose you, come in, buy more than you want them to, you know, more than they want to. You have, you can do that, or you can go with your patients that you love. Because think about this. If I asked you, who's your target market? Most of the time you say to me, oh, anybody's fine. And that's not true. You don't want just anybody. You want your preferred client. So what I ask that next is, if you could have a preferred client walk through your door, who would it be? What, what, who are they? Is it, it what gender? What age? What do they want? What kind of procedures? What, um, what's bothering them? Or where are they at in life? You know, are they uh, the young girls, the, uh, the new moms, the, you know, mature woman? Like, figure out who your, who your most favorite, preferred um, client is. And then spend a lot more of your time, money, and effort going after that group and their friends and family. Do you see how that would be more strategic? It's much easier that way. So I would recommend spending half of your time on new patients, new clients, because you, you know, you've got to play the internet game. So spend half your time there, but please spend the other half on the patients who actually have um, made you successful. Okay? Because this is the truth. The shortest distance between you and new clients will always be the word of mouth referral. It's always the girlfriend talking to her girlfriends. What's beautiful about that is she's bragging about you. They trust her, so now they trust you. It is a point A to B. The internet is point A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R, U, G, and then hope they end up with you. If they're, you're ping ponging all over the place. This is the most direct route. So what you're trying to do is make that happen more often because we trust our friends way, the, way more than we trust anyone's website. So I'm going to show you how to make that happen. Now, here's the goal. It's the referral snowball effect. So your clients currently, you know, they do it now, but you, we just need them to do it more often. Your clients will currently refer their friends, and then those friends refer their friends, and their friends refer their friends, and so on and so on. So when you do this right, three clients become nine clients, nine clients become 27 clients, and it has that compounding effect to it. So that's why when you're more established, you don't have to spend half the money that a newly established med spa spends because nobody knows them. So when this happens, your not only do your revenues go up, but your profits also go up because you're not spending a fortune on advertising, so your costs go down. That's how you run a business, you know, slash med spa. Because it's just so noisy today, so, so noisy to get attention and um, and not just attention. That's also bothering me because you can get attention on, on social media, but did that lead to money? You know, you can have a great website and spend 50 grand on it, but did it do anything for you? You have to look at where the money is coming from and then go find some more of that where it came from. Yeah. So here's the next question. What's the next closest thing to a word of mouth referral? And that, of course, is social proof. And what I mean by social proof uh, is obviously reviews and anything people are saying about you online. But what I love about it is it's a one-to-many strategy. So you know how the girlfriend is talking to, let's say, a girlfriend or three other girlfriends? Well, that's, that's, you know, four people. But 
if you have a client who loves you and you know s- screams from the mountaintops about you online now you have the possibility of hundreds or thousands of prospective clients hearing that and also choosing you because of that. So please do yourself a very big favor and focus here as well. Build your social proof. Please don't take it for granted. Please don't get around to it someday when you get around to it. This is imperative that you build this up because you have enough unhappy patients who will make your life and reputation miserable online, you want to make sure you're coddling the happy patients or clients who love you and who would be more than happy to help you grow your med spa by giving you a video testimonial, approving their photos to be shown to others, giving you a great Google review or a Yelp review, um, uh, being the model in some of your um, like uh, uh, procedural videos, like showing how to do something please spend time on this. The secret to doing this is to set up structures uh, for how you do a patient uh, interview, you know, like how to, um, how to set up the photos, you know, so it's the same lighting, same background, whatnot, and then make somebody responsible for this in in your, you know that there's a saying, everybody, somebody, nobody, Um, that is so true. So I, if I would recommend that you hire or make one person on your team responsible for building the social proof because that's how it ends up getting done. Now we want to change the media because you can no longer count on one channel that's going to be the end all be all. Everything in today's world is very incremental improvements in in many areas. In the old days, you could just do one marketing channel and live fine with that. And maybe you did like even just as uh, like an ad somewhere in a magazine local and it's worked beautifully for you well those days are over and now you have to be everywhere that your preferred patients could possibly be so now we set up a marketing plan that includes all channels whether it be emails social media um, your website but the websites leading to landing pages to collect their contact information uh, refer a friend uh, book a consult Um, then you have all the social media, you have to give them props, you know, or use props in social media because it has to be engaging and entertaining. And also your in-house signage has to help you and then texting. So it takes a whole marketing plan to make this work. And um, I can show you how to do that. Uh, We can simplify that. And lastly, there's the message. And this is where I have noticed um, a lot of profit is lost and a lot, a lot of times you're frustrated because you have, you have to take responsibility when your med spa is full of price shoppers that are nickel and diming you to death. You do have to take responsibility for that. That's not just happening by accident. You're making, you're doing something to tell them, oh yeah, we're all about price here. <laughs> so um, this is the message that I often see with med spas. You are offering deals galore, specials galore, and I get why you do it because it's so competitive. You're competing, you know, with all the noise out there. So you do fall back on price. It, it's, I hear you. It's logical to do that. The The issue is that's going to hurt you in the long run. So I'm going to, it's a race to the bottom. You're not going to appreciate those clients. Usually you're not going to upsell them like you think you are. I know you think you're going to upsell them, but I have watched it over and over where out of the 100, maybe two upsell and the rest is just a waste of your time. So I'm going to propose a different, a different approach. I would like to say, let's skip all this discounting. So let's go from this where the whole world does is on sale. Let's go to this message instead. The more you spend, the more you earn, earn kisses towards free cosmetic services. Now, do you see how that's a different conversation? We are switching from discounting to collecting kisses for free. And in advertising, the most popular word will always be the word free. So I like to use that word free strategically in this kind of way. You can do the same. So instead of them looking for a good deal, they're now changing their mindset and they're in a game. You know how they say gaming? Gaming is like the thing going on now. Everything is a game and fun. Well, it works in this industry just as well. A lot of your clients are love to do games and they love to collect things 
to get some to win a prize is the point. So that's how you change the whole discussion about all of this. Because here's what the whole point is. We need to turn one client into a whole bunch more revenue than you're getting now because you're leaving an awful lot of money on the table because you're not focused on it. And that's, I, I love to focus on where did the original money come from? So let's get some more from there. So for example, you have a client who, let's say is worth $1,000 to you now. When you give her some strategies and give her a fun way to do this, she's going to return more often. And that's like, she's going to return twice more that year. She's going to refer two friends, whereas before she didn't refer any. She's going to give you a review, and that could easily attract three more uh, cosmetic patients who are also looking for a solution. And she's telling them how she, you know, what pain she was in and how her solution was. And then she's going to share you on social to attract three more of her following. Uh, you know, so when you add all that up, the goal here is to take one client that was worth a thousand and ten times their value. Because you have a structure in place for her to become your sales ambassador and help you for free, I might add, to make it fun for her to grow your, your med spa, your revenues, and your profits. Okay? So with this strategy I'm going to lay out here, there's no need to advertise. There's no need to discount. There's no need to hire more people. And you don't need to have the swankiest med spa on the planet. Do you know what I've noticed? Because uh, I've been to an awful lot of med spas. Some of them are so cool, but the people are so gosh darn unfriendly. Like they're snooty. And I think, really? Is that really the, where you want to go with this? Um, that never made any sense to me. Anyway, I want to introduce to you instead this idea. It's the autopilot client attraction, loyalty, and retention system. And it's called KISS Rewards. And KISS stands for Keep It Super Simple. The more simple you make this, the more the clients understand it, the more the staff understands it, and the more it's going to be used. Because anybody who's confused bows out, don't they? So please keep everything super simple. And this is that system. This is set up for you to get your clients compelled and wanting to return more often, refer more often, review more often, give you video testimonials, and share you on social. I mean, that's it in a nutshell. So here's how it works. The rules are super simple. You get a dollar. I mean, every dollar you spend, you get a kiss. You now collect kisses for free services. So for example, and we can customize this, but for example, this has worked very well. We go with, you collect 1,000 kisses for one area of Botox. And by the way, an area of Botox in our mind is, is like, um, like uh, the frown line. So we do 20 units. Um, so they, they get 1,000 is one free, 3,000 kisses, they get a free syringe or filler of their choice or your choice. And then 5,000 kisses gets them a free laser treatment or cool sculpting or whatnot. The beauty of that is they now see what they're trying to win. You know, that's the, that's the point of this. They need to see where they're trying to get to because they'll play, they'll play to win, you know. Um, and we also tell them what their current balance is constantly. So we're always encouraging them to come back for more, get more kisses. Now, for those who want to get kisses faster, there's a shortcut. But they have to do something to get that shortcut. So they get extra kisses when they give you a review, refer a friend, or share you on social. And what that means is we're dangling the free Botox carrot in front of them. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be that, but it works beautifully because we all love Botox and we all need more of it. And you know, a lot of the, your clients don't even realize how many places they can have Botox done, by the way. So this is really good for cross-promoting things. Um, but you give them an automatic 1,000 kisses, which equals one area of Botox, when they do something big for you like this, like give you a review, refer a friend, or share you on social. That is, when they do one of those three things or all three of those, that, like your hard dollar cost for Botox, let's say for 20 units is $120. This is worth so much more to you. $120 is nothing compared to what it would cost you to get this to happen organically. So this is how you grow your med spa strategically, by letting your clients help you grow, you keep your profits, and you make it fun for them to help you grow. That's really that simple. 
So here's how they help you on social media. We give you lots of props, and I'll show you that in a minute, but one of them is um, is a sucker that are their lips, their red lips suckers. And the goal is for you to give them to your patients so they now show you off and brag about you online. So if you notice, the girl up above, she's just loving her new lips and her filler. She is all over that. So see, so she's got her, you know, she's showing off her photos and she's just loving life. Now the girl at the bottom, she's not a girl, she's 50 years old and she looks fantastic. So she was given the lip sucker and she turned it into a really cute post. And I'm sorry, it's blurry. I couldn't fix it. But her dog has his tongue out because he wants to lick the sucker. And she's talking about how much she loves the Kiss Club. That went out to all of her followers on her social platforms. Huh? That's, how to, that's how to go viral. And the med spa clients, they just love it. There's, you know, they're consumers and they're females. And we all do this. We all um, no, we, not all, not all will want to play the game, but enough will where it'll really make a game changer for you and your med spa revenues. But um, we have this piece where they can, um, you know, sign up for KISS and look what they're saying. Please enroll me in the KISS Rewards. Please enroll me in the KISS Rewards Club. Join KISS Rewards Program. They, um, consumers have ended up loving this thing. So I wanted to give you an idea of what kind of revenues we're talking about here when we accelerate. This is like an accelerator. So I, I, I'm hoping this makes sense to you. So let's say you have a database of 1,500 clients. And I realize some of you have a lot more, some have less, but let's just say on average you have 1,500 clients in your database. And I guarantee most of them went away and you forgot about them. So we're going to try to get them back again. And let's say the average value to, of your client is 350. I'm keeping this low because I don't need to exaggerate this, but most clients need a lot more than 350. I mean, a filler alone is a lot more than that, but let's just stick to 350. Okay. We're going to accelerate them. So 20, we're going to get 20% of them to participate. And I'm being very um, uh, conservative here, but let's just say only 20% are going to conserve, are going to participate and they're going to buy because of our strategies, they're going to double what they buy now. That means 20% of 1,500 is 300 clients, and then they're going to double from 350 value up to $700 value. That gives you an extra 210,000. But this is the fun part: you're going to have 10% that are your raving fans, and everyone has them. The raving fans—they love you. They would do anything for you. They come to all your events when you used to have them. They bring all their friends. They brag about you all over town. That group. You definitely have 10% of them, but you don't even know it because there's no mechanism for them to like raise their hand and show that they're a raving fan of yours, unless they come in and tell you. And a lot of them don't. They don't tell you. They're they're just busy helping you grow your grow, grow your med spa, and they're not even telling you. Anyway, now we'll know. So let's say 10% of the 1,500 is 150, and they follow that chart, that 10 times value. They're returning more often, referring more often. Um, reviewing, uh, reviewing more often, um, and also sharing you on social. Look what happens. They become 150 times, not 350, but 3,500, and that's an extra 525,000. So in essence, when you put a plan in place that makes this happen organically, but it's pushing a little bit strategically, that's an extra 735,000 in revenues, and I swear I'm not exaggerating. So here's a case study of uh, just that. So we had 22 signups, and this is a month in a month of results. 31 clients ended up spending 3,000, nine clients spent 5,000, six referrals, four reviews, three video testimonials, five social shares for a total of 83,000. And frankly, 83,000 a month, that's um, over a million a year. So why is this any different? Because you're probably saying to yourself, well, we already have all this. We already have. Blah, whatever it is, Aspire and Brilliant Distinctions and Ollie and you know, whatever they're all called now. Here's the thing. I've been around um, that for a long, long time. And they're so bureaucratic, and they have to be. They're big pharma companies who get sued a lot, so they're just so bureaucratic. They're not fun marketers. They, they are not thinking about the client. That's why I'm so client-centric because you have to be. This isn't about you. It's about that, that, con that consumer who wants to look at it and feel good and has the disposable income to do something about it, you have to think like they think. 
So why is this different? Because it's drop dead easy for your staff to actually do this. It's fun for your clients. You actually are giving them something fun to do with you. And it's really good for um, like content. Like it, it's so much more fun to talk about kisses than about discounts. Really trust me on that. And we do all the marketing for you because we know you're never going to get around to it. The problem with most of these programs is nobody's marketing them. And the, the big pharma companies don't even know how to market. They, it's just all about them and saving their butts pretty much. And um, you have to market the way consumers respond. Um, so we do all that for you. So you don't have to even, all I want you to do is focus on nurturing your patients or your clients so they love you and you build great relationships with them. And this is the really important part. Those other loyalty programs, there's no loyalty to them. As a consumer, I can go to any med spa and get points from any of them. Well, that's no good. That's not building loyalty for your med spa. Um, our KISS Club is completely exclusive to you and you only. So your clients can only get kisses from you. And that's how you build loyalty. So um, if you get around to it, uh, if you want to watch my podcast, it actually is really good. If I say so myself. Um, but it's called Beauty in the Biz, and podcast number 66, I did um, an interview with a wife of a plastic surgeon, and she has a med spa, and she runs the med spa, and she just gave me a very small list of like 700 names, and we tested it with that, and she just, um, just killed it because she understands the value of these relationships. She's very, very friendly, and her um, clients love her, and they um, they really love this. So here are a couple clips from the podcast. I'd like you to watch it, but in case, she said, there is lots of competition, so you have to differentiate. This was not a break-the-bank investment, and it made sense. Onboarding was seamless and smooth. It changed the conversation from discounting to adding value. I still use brilliant distinctions, and they work well together, but they can only get kisses from us, so that's helping with retention and loyalty. Isn't that the truth? So, um, and here's what uh, Beauty by Duffy said. I really like the increased loyalty of our patients due to the Kiss Rewards Club. They like the emails and social media and are talking it up, and that's increasing our new patient referrals. We also love the reviews. So here it is in a nutshell. We literally handle all this for you. We go in stealth mode to set this up. It's a simple iCloud app. So you would just keep it on your computer in, in a tab, and, it, and you open it up. This is what you do. It takes 10 minutes to train on this. You open it up, you put in the, the client's cell phone, and then it opens up their menu, their, their, um, their uh, record, and you add the kisses there. That's it. And I mean, there's a little more to it, but that, that's basically all you need to do here. It's the easiest thing on the, on the planet. We also give you a quick start welcome package. So while we're putting everything together in the background, um, we're sending you this package so you have a quick start guide that you keep by the front desk so everyone knows what to do. And then here are some of the social props we give you. We give you the cup, the coffee cup mugs, and um, we give you the suckers regularly throughout the year. And then we give you these stickers that you can wear because we're trying to give you things that people want to share on social is the point. And when your patients are visiting, we want them to say, oh, can you tell me more about that? Now, here's the best part. They don't have to... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Checking. Uh, they. What is the word? They don't have to register. There's no hassle. There's none of that. You give us your client list. We input them, and this is free for them because we make it a big deal. Oh, we we are giving you free. There's that word free again. We're giving you free membership to the Kiss Club, and we're so excited about it. And along with that, we're going to give you 100 free kisses. And then they'll see that the rules say that they have to collect kisses for certain things. That's how you get this thing rolling quickly. Uh, um, and that's what you need. You need it to roll out immediately. And you get results immediately, too, from doing this. Now, then we also do mid monthly and mid-monthly themed emails. And that's to encourage your clients to return, refer, review, and share. And our emails are also very strategic. We're always trying to get them to click on them because... We're trying to figure out who's raising their hand to do certain things because we track everything. So there, we want them to click when they want to book an appointment, ask a question, or refer a friend. And then we'll let you know right away you know, who's, who's looking for what. We, we also give you all the social media toolkits. Um, we're very good at social media, so we give you the, um, the creatives and the copy every Monday, and then you go ahead and post them. 
because we have to keep KISS in front of your patients. So some are watching their emails, some are doing social, so we're just trying to be wherever they are. And then we also do text messaging. Now, that's a little trickier because there are more rules involved in that because our phones are our last private safe haven. So we have to be strategic about that, but we know all the rules and we help with that. But boy, one trip, it, one um, tip is make sure it's a compelling message. So it's something like, I just made this up, but we would do it together. But it would say, kiss reminder, get free Botox when you're up for a friend, click here to share. So that's very helpful. So now if we didn't catch them in email or we didn't catch them in social, now we're going to catch them on their cell phone. Also, we want to catch them on your website. Do you, did you know that like more than 95% of all your website visitors never actually do anything? They go on your website and then they leave. Well, we need to add some stickiness to your website. So we have a banner on there that allows them to, they can, they can um, schedule, they can call you, or if they're not ready to, then we very simply just join the KISS Club. And that has worked out great for a new uh, client attraction because now we um, nurture them for you. And now they become a client. So here's how simple it is. Step one, we market KISS to your clients. Step two, you, you assign the KISSes to the patients at checkout. And step three, we do the rest. That's how easy this is. And again, we have lots and lots of case studies. I realize I'm running out of time, so I better get cracking. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, you know what? We, we email our patients. We're, we're all good. But you know what happens? You're, what are you, what's the message you're giving them? Oh, here's another special. And they're tired of that. You know, they're used to that, and they're tired of it. So instead, if you, wanted, um, if you were going to try to do what I'm telling you to do here and you do it yourself, look what happens. Because it takes a ton of skill to do all of this. You have to have an email coordinator, a social media coordinator, a graphic designer, an Excel patient list manager, and then you have to buy all these apps. You have to have a phone training platform app, a text platform app, and then you have to manually track results. And the result, and boy, you don't want to track this manually because uh, there's a lot of clicking and pieces going on. And then I went to salary.com to see how much it would cost just for a social media coordinator and a junior graphic designer. That's over a hundred grand. Um, plus, you'd have to pay on benefits and vacation and sick days. And instead, let me do it for you. My team and I handle this all the time. We can do it for you. So here's here's what our regular pricing is. Um, we uh, typically I do uh, work with plastic surgeons, so we charge them premier or standard. So premier, they get everything, like all the services. They get my consulting, they get my uh, staff training, they get a bunch of stuff. They get the texting and customization and all of that. That's twenty nine ninety seven a month. Now some people don't need all the extras, so they just get the nineteen ninety seven a month. However, this is the exciting part. I took my, those two service fees and I blended them together into a hybrid just for AMSPA webinar special offer. For, so I have a special offer just for you AMSPA members. And so instead, you're getting um, monthly themed email, mid-month email, birthday email, we miss you email, database management, a landing page to schedule, social posts every Monday, then you get in-house signage, you get website, um, website banner and a landing page. You get a cute explainer video uh, that's it's animated. It's very cute and it's really cute on social media. And then you get additional props, but you also get the texting and all these specials. And I'll go through those in a second. So here's what I did. You're not going to pay $29.97 or $19.97. You're only going to pay $9.97 a month plus all of these services. And by the way, if you want to go now, because you're in a hurry, you can go to kissclubmedspa.com and all of the details are there. So here's bonus number one is the phone club. <laughs> because leads are only one part of this, you have got to get good at these phones and converting callers to appointments. And I've noticed after mystery shopping for our over 20 years, everyone could use help on the phones. So I do have a phone club where I have 18 uh, videos that have quizzes with them. So some of the video topics are just really important for you to have, like good phone greeting, bonding with the caller, how to answer questions, especially the big one, how much is it, um, how to ask for the appointment, how to handle angry callers, and a whole lot more. So uh, you'll get that. That's a value of $1,500. And then bonus number two, this one comes up a lot in, um, in our industry. Everyone says, I'm not a salesperson. I don't want to be pushy. And you shouldn't be. You should never be pushy. So I have a presentation that I put together called Easy Ways to Cross-Promote Cosmetic Services. 
and uh, there's no need to push. It's all strategy and marketing, and, um, and I'll show you how to do that, and you can just swipe and deploy my strategies and use them for yourself. I also put together 20 cosmetic patient attraction strategies um, because I just have a bunch of ideas that work beautifully. I've tested them to death, and um, that's a value of 197, and it just includes a whole lot more strategies that you might not have uh, thought about yourselves. And then bonus number four are the social prompts because we really need your clients to help you go viral with social prompts. And it might not go viral, viral, but you can get an awful lot of new clients from this when they're sharing you on social. So we give you a kiss box frame that you have internally. So patients say, hey, you know, visiting patients say, hey, I didn't know about this because it says, ask us how. Uh, and then here are the lip suckers we use and we have blinking light pins that are really cute. And that's how um, we ask your staff to use these props as well on your, because it gives you good social content for your own um, platforms, but it also hand this stuff to your clients because they'll share and spread the word for you. Now, bonus number five, we're gonna do a VIP text club for you. So we're gonna handle all that for you. You get 500 texts per month. We're gonna send out strategic text messages that we're gonna talk about ahead of time. And we're gonna use our platform so we keep you out of trouble. Now that's a value of $3,000. And then lastly, I want to make this so no-brainer-ish for you to do this that I'm, you can get started for just $1. And you're never going to be out of pocket. You know why? Because you give me $1 today, and then when we set this up, you're not charged the $9.97 until your first marketing strategy goes out. It's probably going to be like your first email. And you'll make that money back before your credit cards even do. Yeah? So that's, I mean, I can't make it any easier than that. Um, and it's all at kissclubmedspa.com. Kissclubmedspa.com. So to recap, here's everything you're going to get. And for the total value, because I added this up and I thought, I mean, I'm really, and I'm not kidding, there's a ton of work that goes into this. And that's why we charge what we charge. I mean, they get more value, like $29.97 a month is not bad at all when you consider all the wasted advertising you're doing that you're not getting any results from. So this really does make a lot more sense because if you think about it, we're nurturing the patients that you've been ignoring. Our goal is to get them to come back, return, refer, and share. That's how you do this in today's crazy, noisy world. So I added up the reduced fees because you're not paying $29.97, only $9.97. So that's a $24,000 added value. $1 setup. It's normally $24.97 um, $24 set up, and you're getting it for a dollar. The VIP texting is $3,000. Props for social is $3.50. My 20 strategies is $1.97. Cross promoting training is $3.97. And then the phone club is $1,500. So the total value you're getting for free is 31940 And you can see here all the things you're getting. The monthly themed email, the mid-month themed email, birthday email, we miss you email, database management, landing page, social posts every Monday, in-house signage, referral display, website banner, so we can get those patients, those visitors on your website to actually connect with you. Um, you're going to get that cute explainer video, instruction card for patients, uh, and we'll explain all this in the welcome package, but it's really fun because we're helping your patients help you. Additional props, we, um, we track all the calls and any links you get, and we report back in our detailed monthly progress reports. Then you're getting the text club, the um, email web form, social media backdrop is coming up, additional in-house signage, phone training, newsletter. Uh, I really, really want to partner with you. So I threw this all in there for you because I really believe MedSpas, you probably understand this more because you're so focused on just the non-surgical. So these patients mean a lot to you and um, I'd like to help you nurture them. So I, no matter what I do, I always offer a guarantee because I have a reputation in this industry and I want to keep it good. So here's the bottom line. If for some odd reason this didn't work out for you, you are under absolutely no obligation to continue. You can cancel at any time, but I will make sure that doesn't happen because we're going to be partners now. And here is the final final. So I'm, I, I just love stuff like this. So um, to add some urgency, because I don't want you to procrastinate, I want you to act right now because then we can partner and get things rolling because now we're on the second half of the year. We've got to get cooking here. 
So the first three, um, I'm attending right now, the first three to text KISS to my cell phone, my personal cell phone, which is 415-377-8700, you get a free customized KISS backdrop. And I'm showing, I'm giving you a choice. It depends on how much room you have in your med spa, but this is another great strategic tool for how to get you, your staff, and your clients all doing more selfies to then get on social media, to then get in front of followers who now become, you know, loyal clients of yours too. So the first three to, kid, to text KISS at 415-377-8700, um, you pick either the big one, and we'll customize this for you. You either get the really big one, or if you're um, tight on space, you can just do this smaller retractable one. Um, uh, so it's your choice, okay? And here's the thing, though. It's a special, and it wouldn't be special if there was nothing special about it. So the reason it's special is it expires Monday at 5 p.m., period. And the good news is I'm on the West Coast, so you East Coast people, um, you have a little more time. So it expires Monday at 5 p.m., my time. So now you have a choice to make. You can either do it yourself, figure this all out, although you're going to have to have a, a lot of skill to do that, a lot of platforms to do that, or you can just let me do it for you. My team and I can handle all this for you, um, and I'd love to partner with you. So just head over to kissclubmedspa.com, and here is a recap of everything. And just so you know, um, it really does. It expires Monday. There's no risk guarantee because um, I'm not going to hold you to anything that isn't working for you, but I, I know it will. And then there's no long-term contracts. So please go to kissclubmedspot.com. And I, want, I don't want to forget, for anyone who is waiting for my social media freebie, that is waiting for you at katherinemaley.com forward slash social. And with that, I'm going to stay on this and then just let me know if you, anyone's got questions, I can stay put. So please let me know if you have uh, any questions for me or any comments. I'm, I'm eager to hear. Hi, Catherine. So it looks like we do have a few questions um, ready to start off. Uh, this one's a two part question. How do you deal with clients who are a red flag client and how do you refer them somewhere else while upholding your reputation? <laughs> that's a big deal um, you know it de it obviously depends on who is the giver and who's the receiver of this communication so I would pick the person um, I would probably pick the med spa owner unless they don't have the, pick somebody who has the best people skills you've got in your med spa somebody who um, isn't real ego driven like they can keep it nice and calm and I personally like the more honest approach I, I like to say, you know what, Sarah, it just doesn't seem like you're very happy. I don't think we can give you the result you're looking for. Um, and I, I'd love to refer you to somebody else. And you can certainly give them to your competitor or just leave it at, I'm sorry, I just don't think we are, we're a good fit for you. And then give them back their money if, if you need to, because it's too easy for them to go online and trash you. And I'm sorry that people are allowed to say anything they want on the internet. And it really hurts you because you don't just, you, you lose, it's such a double-edged sword. A happy patient, um, all these other prospective clients see them um, when they're happy, but then they also love to read the one stars, you know? The prospective clients love to read the one stars, don't we all? We like, what happened? And hopefully it was just that you kept them waiting. It wasn't anything worse than that, you know? But I, I would just try to say, I'm sorry, we're just not a good fit, and I don't, I, we can't make you happy. <laughs> I hope that helps. <laughs> I think that works. Next question, how do you see retainment in small businesses just starting out? Well, see, it's no different. You're just on a different scale. So if you only had 10 clients right now, I would seriously be having lunch with every one of them. <laughs> like um, those 10 clients can make it a hundred clients in no time when you 10 X them. So really treat them with, with kid gloves. I mean, invite them in for lunch in your med spa. I actually like the idea of them constantly coming back to your med spa. Don't go out to lunch, have lunch, come in and pick their brain, you know, and be really transparent and say, you know what? This is a new business. I'm, I'm trying to, grow this as quickly as I can. I sure could use your help. I appreciate any feedback you can offer me. And I'd love to give you, you know, lunch, you know, or if you prefer, like do happy hour or something, if they maybe happy hour is better because they'll open up more and be more relaxed. But I would, 
That's what I would do. Talk to the, the very clients that have already given you money and turn them into your, kind of like your advisory board. You know, please help me. Please help me grow this and I'll take good care of you. We have a similar question. How can we get new customers when starting out? Right. Um, okay, your best bet, when you don't have any customers, the best thing you do have is time. You probably don't have any money, but you have time. And, and you're not going to love this answer, but this is where you um, develop a business card, not the cheapo one that says free business cards at, you know, freebusinesscards.com. Um, get real business cards. It's $50 for God's sake. Um, you can get them online at any, uh, like, iprint.com. And on one side are all of the services you offer. On the other side is your contact information, and it has a really cute, um, now in this case, I am going to use a discount. It's, it has a really cute gift card of, want a $50 gift card towards your first visit. It's called a gift card, not a discount. You want to get that discounting out of your system. So it's a gift card. And now you start dropping them off everywhere. You start meeting and greeting. You're shaking hands. You're going to the retail shops, the coffee shops, anywhere around you. You're, you're just trying to get that word out. And that's called feet on the streets. That's, um, but also, you know what I would do? I would get everyone together and I would have a brainstorming session and I would say, okay, you guys, we know a lot more people than we realize. So where do we get our hair done? Where do we get our nails done? Where do we work out? Um, you know, where do we eat? Where do we get our coffee? Uh, where do we shop? Like, you really have a huge amount of potential there if you really stop and think about it. And then give everybody the business cards and now have a fun contest. And pass out these cards to anybody you know at the gym or the hair salon or whatever. And, um, and then you can have a nice big prize at the end, like after a month of doing that. And But on the card, you would put their initials so when the cards come back, you know who is in, responsible for that new client. Try that. That's really fun. It's a fun way for all of you to get involved. But frankly, right now, you, you have some um, uh, you know, co-calling to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Catherine, for speaking with us today. Sure. Thank you. All right, have a great afternoon, everyone. All right, take care, everyone, thanks.